Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Kaba Ilko number 7185 RA1-29. This is a mortise cylinder with a Rust 981R keyway and then a black aluminum finish. That's the 29 in the part number. So, solid brass mortise cylinder, solid brass housing, solid brass plug. This is a standard cam. That's the 863G uh, G cam from Kaba Ilko. That is the one in the part number after the RA. The RA is going to tell us it's a 981 keyway. Uh, Ruswin original lookalike bow on the key blank. This is going to be five pin. Um, it might be drilled six. We'll test that. I don't, I don't recall if this is drilled six. It probably is. Yeah, I'm quite sure it is. It's inch and an eighth long. Incredibly smooth operation because it's made of solid brass. Okay. Now, let's go further with the part number. 7185 specifically means that this is an inch and an eighth um, mortise cylinder. Mortise cylinders are measured from the underside of the head to the back of the cam. Okay. Inch and an eighth, right there. Okay. This is a standard 1 and 5 30 second diameter, 32 threads per inch, an absolute standard. I don't know how long this thread type has been standard for mortise cylinders and most mortise locks, but not all. You'll have jumbo cylinders, you'll have peanut cylinders, you'll have mogul cylinders. Those are larger and smaller, um, but mortise locks certainly from the 19th century would be taking this thread type. Um, so it's... it's it could be mid-19th century, um, with Yale Linus Jr. patenting the modern pin tumbler cylinder. That could have been the thread type on that initial patent on that cylinder. Um, I, won't, <laughs> I won't research the patent right now. Uh, moving on, we have RA. That's a Russwin 981 keyway. There's an image down below that shows the broaching in the cylinder plug. Um, for the keyway, it's called broaching. That's the that when you look at the uh, image on the item in the website, you're looking down into the cylinder and not looking at the edge of the key. Okay, the standard cam is also listed there as well. The 29 is black. You can do this in lots of different colors, and we'll go over that in a moment. And then after that is the keying. What the keying would needed would be needed. This is marked KA2. That means from the factory there are pairs of these or sets of two, they're key to like. So if you needed two, you could order, you could ask for them KA2, and that would indicate that you want both of them key to like. You'd have two key to like cylinders and four keys, KD, MK, KA10, whatever your imagination leads you to in that regard. Let's pause this video and take a look at the screen so we can dive deeper into these part numbers. So here's the product that we're looking at on uh, on the screen. Extended description information, inch and an eighth length, five pin, Russ 1981, standard cam, black aluminum, thread type. Okay, that's your broaching in the cylinder plug, that's your cam as well. Now, to talk about variations of what's available, let's click on the link to the manufacturer's page here, and then we're looking for a catalog called Brass Cylinders we click on that link we'll pull up our brass cylinder catalog and let's just do a find function control F for the 7185 and we'll find all of the instances where that part number comes into play here so we're gonna find under our product numbers 7185 that that's inch and an eighth it is five pin and it is indeed drilled six all of the other lengths are here are listed in this table Okay. Mortise cylinders. Uh, down below, key and knob cylinders. Mortise thumb turns. These are also very common items to buy. Um, the different keyways available are here. We're doing a RA. So to dissect the part number, this is going to be your length. Then your keyway, RA. We have our R-way, RA, Russ one. Now what's nice about that is they tell us the part number of the key blank that they use. So let's take a look at that. 
we go back to the manufacturer's page and look for the key blank catalog and we fire that document up. And what we'll do is we'll do a find function on the keyboard for N1011P and it will search that document and it will come up. Okay, it is in section two, which is where North American cylinders are. That's a five pin, Russ one. Now, RU52, reference to the five pin ILCO easy number, okay? It's just a, a, you know, just their easy number, an RU52. The point is, sometimes when you look at a Kaba ILCO key blank, it will have an easy number on it. That N1011P ought to have. I don't know if I have a photograph of it. Oh, I do have a photograph of that key blank. And you'll see right there, it does have RU52 on it. Okay. So now we go back to the Kaba key blank catalog. You can see this is part of a multiplex structure. Five pin, six pin, six pin, how the part number changes when it's a six pin blank. And that's all very uh, handy, very interesting. Okay. What also is very interesting, if we wanted to dive deeper in this Kaba Ilko Ruswin 981, we could pull up the Corbin, Corbin Ruswin cylinder manual, which is under the Corbin Ruswin manufacturer's page in our site, cylinder manual. Then from within this document, you can find out a lot more about the 981. And I'll scroll to get there. Scrolling through the catalog gets us to page 70 where we can see the 981 um, depth and spacing chart. It's really appropriate if we're just trying to learn more about the 981, maybe do a deep dive. This is what's called the depth and spacing, ch spacing chart. And if you were cutting keys, well, either with a code machine like the HPC Blitz or if you were using a Framen, um, machine or if you were literally cutting these with a file by hand in your caliper. This gives you all of the information on the Rust1981 class and that is in the if you were to go to the manufacturers link wherever that will ultimately be by the time you're viewing this video look for a cylinder manual whatever the year is you'll find that document so very very handy information okay let's move on through the part number a little bit further now the one tells us the tailpiece, or the cam in this case. And when we get back to our manual, our brass cylinder man, uh, catalog from Kaba Ilko, we're right here, cam or tailpiece. And we'll go to the next page to look at the options. It's a number, one. Uh, two is the other very common one, but you can do other cams, okay? If you're doing um, a Kaba Ilko deadbolt, you would want this cam. They make a, a cam. Uh, marks, oh, once in a while, someone buys a mortise cylinder from us and it needs to work a marks lock. Uh, obviously, uh, we're doing, this is a Falcon cam, so if you've got a Falcon lock, that would work. Um, Adams Wright has a different cam uh, for their 4070. It's a short version of a standard cam. Not what I'm saying is not all Adams Wright takes this Adams Wright cam. Almost all of it does, but not 100%. Obviously, the famous Schlage cam, etc. Okay. Now, when we get into step four of the finish codes, and then the keying, that's all on the next page as well. Lots of different finish options are here. This is a 29, so that's going to be black aluminum. Other lots of other options can be ordered. Not all of it's stock, certainly not. Um, then keying options. The factory can do keying. You know, they're not going to want a Grandmaster key a single cylinder. We'll do that for you, but if you're looking for, you know, 150 cylinders keyed a particular way, that would be a good project to send to the manufacturer for them to do it. So this document to the brass cylinder manual um, is the governing document when it comes to understanding um, their entire system. I had mentioned that deadbolt earlier and I'd like to show that deadbolt to you in the brass cylinder 
Her deadbolt is here, and I really love this Kaba Ilko deadbolt uh, because a couple of reasons. It's modular. You can use anyone's mortise cylinder in it. You want to run Schlage Primus into a into a deadbolt. You want to put, you know, Sergeant Kesso into a Kaba Ilko deadbolt. As long as you've got the mortise cylinder, it will work. Um, very low profile to the face of the door, exceptionally low profile. In fact, this deadbolt would install without the shroud out here. Um, actually, no, that's incorrect. It will not install without the shroud because the minimum hole diameter is 1 and 7 eighths to drill. You have to have a, a hole that's 1 and 7 eighths to 2 and an eighth inch in diameter. That is the one downside me, for me personally of this lock. But what's really awesome is that they have three back sets, the 2 and 3 quarter and the 2 and 3 eighths. Everybody knows about that, but they've got the 2 inch back set. And that's really superb when you have a pair of residential 10 light doors that are 2-0 each and you have 4 inch styles and you want to center that deadbolt, this would be the way to go. I love this deadbolt for that reason. Let's finish up this video on camera. Okay, so as we look at this cylinder, um, I'm partial to Cabo Ilco for some of the reasons mentioned earlier, uh, but also because it's a very high quality item being made of solid brass components. This scalp plate that's made of brass as well. Um, you know, in, in great technical support, there's a gentleman at Cabo Ilco who uh, he, he tolerates my questions about the product line. Um, and it's just really good all around. Quite frankly, I would always look to use Kaba Ilko cylinders in all instances because it's such high quality, even compared against the factory original material. Um, and the only time I don't is when I can't. I've got a keyway. I've got an unusual cam. Um, you might have a problem where the client, um, and, and understandably so, you might have a customer that has a Baldwin lock and they are installing the Baldwin lock onto um, they have a Baldwin lock and it currently has a Schlage C keyway. Well what they want to do is have this Siegel key that they have from a Siegel lock on their back door, a Siegel 687 um, and you can get mortar cylinders from Cobb Ilkel that will take that that Siegel I forget that part number uh, for that key blank. You're going to put that mortise cylinder into that Baldwin lock, take that Baldwin cylinder out. The downside, and understandably, you've spent $1,000 on the Baldwin lock. The front of your mortise cylinder is not going to say Baldwin. It'll say nothing, in fact. Um, so that could be a reason why someone wouldn't uh, necessarily gravitate. You can buy the um, Baldwin manufacturer cylinders. They just they do other keyways, but I think it's only Schlage C. They may do a quick set, 1176. They do an E and an F Schlage keyway as well. They're not going to do a Siegel. The point of the matter is before you just assume that your client would be okay with that, you probably want to ask because that piece of Baldwin hardware was, was quite costly originally and, and, and incredibly well made as well. I'm a fan of Baldwin hardware through and through. Finally, that link below this video to the manufacturer's page will allow you to review not only all of the Kaba Ilko products that we sell, but also a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the full product catalog. Any questions on the Kaba 7185, RA1, 29, mortise cylinder, or any other Kaba Ilko product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.